Chaos and carnage at baggage reclaim. After passenger panic at Fort Lauderdale Airport in Florida, U.S. investigators are trying to establish why a man took a gun out of his checked luggage and opened fire, killing five people and injuring eight more. In custody, the suspected gunman has been identified as Iraq war veteran Esteban Santiago, who reportedly told the FBI in November that voices in his head were urging him to join ISIL. With nothing to indicate a terrorist motive, mental health's under consideration as a key factor. My heart goes out to every family impacted. The families that lost their loved ones and the family and the individuals that have loved ones still in a hospital fighting for their life. I have reached out to uh, President-elect Trump and spoken with, to him and Vice President-elect Pence multiple times uh, to keep them informed. And they told me whatever resources that we need from the federal government, they would do everything in their power uh, to make that happen. The shooting ended, say witnesses, when the gunman ran out of ammunition and surrendered. Investigators are checking reports that the 26-year-old suspect who traveled from Alaska may have been involved in an altercation on his flight to Florida.